Hello everyone and happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I just wanted to show you what the Amazon Echo can do for St. Patrick's Day. So let's get into it. Alexa, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. If you'd like some rhymes that are rhythmic, ask me for a St. Patrick's Day limerick. Alexa, happy St. Patrick's Day. And a happy St. Patrick's Day to you. To find out if the luck of the Irish is going your way, just say, quiz me about St. Patrick's Day. Alexa, quiz me about St. Patrick's Day. Alrighty, let's see if you're as lucky as a four-leaf clover. Let's find out. Do you want to hear the instructions? Yes. I'll ask you four true or false questions. You can also say repeat or stop to quit. Question 1. The traditional St. Patrick's Day meal, corned beef and cabbage, was started in America. True or false? False. Phooey! No dessert for you. While ham and cabbage were eaten in Ireland, corned beef was a more affordable substitute in America. Question 2. The first St. Patrick's Day parade in America was held in the 1600s. True or false? True. Yahoo! Everyone loves a parade. A St. Patrick's Day parade was held on March 17, 1601, in what is now St. Augustine, Florida. Question 3. In the week leading up to St. Patrick's Day, shipments of cabbage increased by 70%. True or false? True. Ooh la la! You've got a good head of cabbage on those shoulders. It's true that shipments of this crunchy cruciferous vegetable increased by 70% in the week leading up to St. Patrick's Day. Question 4. The dish is called corned beef because an ear of corn is used to tenderize the meat. True or false? True. Oof. It may sound corny, but the corn in corned beef refers to the large grains of salt that were used to cure meats, which were also known as corns. Hmm, you got two out of four. I guess that puts you in the space between lucky and unlucky. Want to test your luck again with more questions? Yes. Okay. Question 1. Traditionally, a leprechaun works as a hat maker. True or false? True. Blard. Don't Oops. feel like a heel, but leprechauns are traditionally shoemakers. You'll know a leprechaun is near when you hear the tapping of a tiny hammer driving nails into shoes. Question 2. The leprechaun has a troublesome cousin who wears red instead of green. True or false? True. Splendid. I'm giving your answer the green light. The leprechaun's troublesome cousin in red is the chloricon. Question 3. St. Patrick was known for wearing green clothes. That's why green is associated with St. Patrick's Day. True or false? True. Alas, oh. don't be green with envy, but St. Patrick's color was blue. The color green became associated with St. Patrick's Day during the Irish independence movement in the late 18th century. Question 4. St. Patrick was always known as Patrick. True or false? True. Bomber. So your claim to fame isn't the name game. St. Patrick was born in Britain to Roman parents around A.D. 387, with the name, Mywin Succot. Oh boy. You got one out of four. There, there. Your luck is bound to improve. Want to test your luck again with more questions? No. 
Okay, thanks for playing. Yeah, I just wanted to show what the Echo, the Amazon Echo does for uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So, thanks for watching everyone, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, uh, you can follow my Facebook, my Instagram, and my YouTube. I'll put those linked in the description. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.